Crispy, just drumsticks. Six or more? Six is good. Okay. Hi. Yes. Um. Can I get six extra crispy drumsticks? Okay. And then can I also get six original recipe drumsticks? Okay. Six original, six uh, um, crispy. Yes. And then can I get two original chicken breasts? Yes, can we also get a large mashed potatoes with no gravy? So the six turns six crispy and the six original and yes. the two breasts? Original, yes. And the large mashed green gravy? Mashed potato, no gravy. Mashed no gravy. Right, or do you like gravy? No gravy. And then can we get a large corn? Large fries? Uh, yeah, can we get a large fries and a large corn? Large corn, is it? Yes, and a large fries. And large french fries. Anything else for you? Um, drink, babe. Go. Um, the Pepsi. Pepsi. Medium Pepsi. Okay. And then can I get a medium Mountain Dew? Okay, anything else? And then can we get like three cookies? Okay, anything else for you? <laughs> that's it. Okay, so the three drumstick original, three drumstick crispy, and the two breast original, right? Is that right? Yes. I mean six uh, legs original, six uh, legs crispy, and the two breasts original. Yes. And the large mash only, large corn, large french fries, and a medium fancy, medium monster, and the three extra pieces. Yes. Anything else for you? No, that's it. Okay, drive Okay, thank you. Oh, okay. It makes me feel so fat going through a drive through she repeated it so many times. Well, then she said three, and I was like, oh, do we correct her and say we want six of each? Oh, wait. She, I think she did correct herself. Oh, okay. Is this massaging? Oh, my God, it is. Wait, I don't... No, I think it's on the door. Oh, like you're right. Buttons. Oh, my God, I didn't know these massaged. <laughs> I think that's always what happens when you have your leg on the door. And then you're like, oh, why is the chair moving? It does it to you, too? Oh. Very excited for this. Oh, God, it's so great. Should we go to our usual Rite Aid and eat? Sure. We can't go here, but people usually like yeah. talk. <laughs> and now if people want food, you can give them food if they approach us. <laughs> I'll protect you. I'll get canceled again. No, that was a bad situation. Thank y'all. I think so too. I still am shocked that people would think otherwise that like I was being, that like still shocks me. You have good intuition when it comes to people and they should have been there to see it for themselves. I feel like I do too. Please wear a mask. Do you want a mask? Oh. oh. Got a mask. It's daytime, so no problem. Well, it says to wear a mask. Let's not be anti-maskers. Like, oh god, it smells really good. Whoa. No dinner tonight for me, for real. I don't want a snack. I don't want nothing for dinner. <laughs> I'm being serious. <laughs> you We're going to be out. We're not going to have dinner. Excuse me. We're going to be out. Oh yeah, those. we're going to a drive through Christmas light show. Yep. Very excited. Yeah. Thank you. We have a light show. Uh oh. Everything inside, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Should we keep the air on? Or? I think so. Mm. Oh, they didn't give us the buckets? I felt like we ordered enough chicken to have buckets, but dang, I, I was know which one is which. for some holiday. Well, you can have some of mine too. I got extra of mine just in case I I just eat the skin off the breast, so. This looks like original recipe. Mm -hmm. Where are the recipe. breasts? In here. Oh, okay. Feel free to. Mine are so good. Oh, my... oh! <laughs> I forgot we got these. Sorry. <laughs> oh. Wow. Oh. Um, I'm gonna mix it all together. Here's extra. 
Yeah. Yeah. I love eating it fresh. I'm glad we went out fresh. Napkin. <laughs> 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 That's actually my idea. Uh, I know. Um, I was like, I'm gonna go here see how the gap can go. It's Saturday. It's like a splurge. The weekend is like splurge now. Bucks. I'm excited to eat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm already hot. Is it hot? It's okay. Not too hot. I'm trying to remember which one I liked more. What happened to mine? I mean, we got six <laughs> and all this food. Just crap. I like just eating like just the skin off the breasts. But I like the meat of the drumstick, which is so weird. Remember my first mukbang? You didn't even eat. You were so into talking about your channel water. Remember the game <laughs> relationship? How into your channel I was? I was like, ooh, tell me about your YouTube channel. Yeah, now you don't hide it anymore. <laughs> well, that means we're comfortable with each other. Isn't that better? You mean comfortable not liking what I do? <laughs> I don't like what you do. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm just not as. I'm just not interested. Wait, that's a very cute thumbnail. Mm. Mm, I love these because I love like... <laughs> I've got a show that you're eating it for the thumbnail. Oh, you're gonna right. get a fresh one? Yeah, exactly. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. You have to do the face? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so good. <laughs> you got it. Oh my God, it's so good. <laughs> You should try one of mine. I think this is better. I think you like this better. I think I just eat this skin. Want to try one? This one tastes better. The seasoning, I never, I don't even like extra crispy. Like, I don't even eat it if it's at the table. Mm. Wow. I love KFC. So this is the only dark meat you eat. Yeah, it's so weird. And I never liked it. Well, not the only dark meat I eat. <laughs> well, lately, I guess. <laughs> I'll eat it more. <laughs> <laughs> I got through waves. But I haven't, like, obsessed with you recently. I don't know why. <laughs> I go in waves with that too. Like, I always love you, but lately I feel like I've been obsessed with you. Well, it's been fun. Huh? It's been fun. <laughs> Enjoy it while it lasts. Hey. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Getting a house together. I am. Um, I think that's what it is, because it's like a commitment. And I'm like, oh, we're in it for the long haul. Mm -hmm. And I hate being unsure in relationships. Mm. I had this for my Thanksgiving meal alone. On my YouTube. I missed you. <laughs> I miss you even when you're right here next to me. <laughs> you like mine better? You want another one? I'm not gonna eat all of them. I literally got them for you. No, I remember. You like this better? Oh, yeah. Well, that's good because I like it too. Well, had we known, we could have gotten the bucket then of just. Because <laughs> I think it's just less. Yeah, the other one has more bread, obviously. <laughs> well, it's not that obvious, but I just don't like extra crispy. Like, I love breading, but. Mm. And yours are really hot. I think they were like, they just came out, and mine were like. Sitting there? Mm -hmm. Makes a difference. Oh man, I can't wait to check our TikTok. Me and Moses did an epic TikTok today where he was me. And you killed it. We wanted to do it for so long. I know. Well, we saw someone today that was really funny. I was like, we should do it. Oh, I was working with Solar Reduce too. And I was like, oh, this is a good day to do it. <laughs> wow. 
Oh my god, this is so good. We have long list of things for me to be as you. Oh, I know. There was so much. It was so funny. It cracked me up. Um, they're so much bigger too. I feel like there's more meat in these. My opinion. <gasps> so good. Mm. What's gonna be our first meal in our new house? You're gonna cook pasta. I'm so excited. I know I mentioned this before, but I watch a channel called Cooking with Babish and the other girl, the Big Bites girl. I forget her name, but it's Cooking with Babish and this Big Bites girl, like Hunger Food Diaries or something. And they both make pastas all the time that are cheesy and creamy. And oh, I just want to make it butter pasta. Do you like pasta? Because you never really order it when we eat. I do. Just follow us, we do. We definitely have to have that before we move. I, mean, I love Italian food. That's like Italian, Japanese food, Middle Eastern, probably my top three. That's a big variety that's not even close to being the same. Those are also different. Right, but I'm saying those are like my favorite. Like pizza, pasta, then, you know, everything <laughs> Japanese. And Middle Eastern. <laughs> that's so many. It's like saying my favorite food is Italian, Chinese, and Mexican. But for some people, that's what their favorite food is. <laughs> Well, are we going to exercise? <laughs> We're supposed to go walk today. Do you think we'll have time? This will be late. Will you bet? Okay. I'm down. <laughs> we always just end up eating. <laughs> With the intention of walking. I'm busy. It's Vlogmas, you guys. I'm posting every day on this channel, my vlog channel, OnlyFans, TikTok, channel Water posting daily. <laughs> oh, did you post today? Mm -hmm. hmm. I didn't even see it. Congrats, babe. You're not subscribed. Yes, I am. Am I not? As of this week. <laughs> no. Are you serious? I, I don't want that. Don't you remember? Oh, really? No. We're looking and then I'm looking at your feed on your phone and you're like. But I subscribed because you were so sad that I wasn't subscribed. So I, I don't. I don't think I unsubscribed. Maybe you were looking through a different channel. Maybe you know what I mean. Like, My vlog channel. Actually? Mm -hmm. That's so weird. Yeah, I definitely subscribed. But I don't think YouTube, I think YouTube really is broken where it doesn't show. I don't see all the subscriptions to other people. Like that girl I was watching yesterday, that Remy, the girl I was talking about. I don't know. Do you ever even listen to one I watch YouTube videos? Yeah. What was the one I was watching yesterday? This girl. Mm-hmm. And she was talking about so many things. <laughs> so you like listen. But wait, I have to like recall. You have such a good memory. Like I'm doing this because it's fun. Because it's like you have such a good memory. And I'm always so impressed when you remember. But um, but I think if you go to subscriptions, then if you don't see it at that moment where it comes out, comes out, then that's it. You know, you're not gonna see it again. Yeah. That's why I have to click the bell. <laughs> the notifications. Wait, you didn't say what she said yesterday. I thought you were going to recite what her video was. I'd be so impressed if you remembered. I don't expect you to remember because you were working, but <laughs> I'd be so impressed. Were there two girls? She was talking to another girl, right? Shh. Yeah, but she was doing most of the talking. Mm. There was so much. She was talking about so much. I'm trying to remember at least one thing. <laughs> I was watching, if you guys know, Miss Remy Ashton, so she does, like, vlogs. And she does put so much in her vlogs. She does so much talking. I love it because they're so long and she's consistent, but... I can't immediately recall. I can't remember. Like, I wouldn't know where you were listening because I was, like, on the couch at one point and then I went to the to do my boxes, so I'm like, where did you hear it? You really it? played it when you went back to the boxes, so I was working on my computer. You were back there working. So you would hear that. She was talking about going on a trip to Big Bear and that they didn't invite one girl because she wanted to bring her boyfriend but she goes that wasn't me because I want to say back because I just adopted dogs or something like that I don't know she talked about a lot honestly but I love her I love what that's my favorite is when you're working and I'm also watching YouTube videos it's so fun because then it feels like real life you know I think when you're like dating someone you like don't want to be on your phone or computer but no but I'm working I'm always listening to videos 
That's so weird. I can't. When I'm working, I can't listen to. Like, I was just opening boxes, but. It helps me. That's so weird. It helps me to concentrate. Either music or videos, lectures. I know people are like that with, like, homework. Like, they want me to listen to, like, music, but I cannot focus if there's music. No. Or noise. That's why. I, well, it's good then. Like, our areas of the house. We have a cool house that's, like, stacked. It's basically like a stacked up house, which is very cool. So I won't hear him when he where he's at. I can't really hear you now though. Like when you have your door closed, I couldn't I didn't know you were on the phone. Like when I came in, I was like, oh shit. Not that you're quiet and I'm not. You're like, you can't be perfect. Because <laughs> you can be like okay. jumping, then staying up there. I can be in my office working. No problem. I don't know if I'm gonna be jumping, dancing, or squirting. Either way, it's waterproof. <laughs> well, they have so much outdoor space to do that at. <laughs> It'll fertilize the lawn. <laughs> Water my plants. <laughs> I can finally use your garden. <laughs> I was like, can I do an OnlyFans when I first met him? I can do an OnlyFans in your garden. Like, no, I would never. I'll keep the plants. He thinks they're like his kids. He's like, you know, this sounds kind of like a story or no? Of course. <laughs> I really thought it was cute, but it is funny when I thought about it. He's like, it's going to sound silly, but like, I always promise my plants that one day I get them out and get them to like soil to like an actual house and make it my home. Is that how you said it? Because they're in pots right now, so they can only grow so much. <laughs> yeah. If you want them to really grow and be big, they need to be planted. Mm. Yeah. So one day when I move, they'll move with me and I'll plant them. <laughs> they're like your children. Mm -hmm. Let's mix this up. I thought that was so cute. How about, were you the one who did this? The fry and the potato? That's someone I'm else. sure I did, but it's good because <laughs> it's it, like crunchy mashed mm. potato. And double carbs. Oh, that's what she was talking about too. I don't know if you heard that. In her vlog, she was saying how she used to cut carbs out completely and now she has the balanced carbs. And she had PCOS, so she couldn't eat too many carbs. Did you hear that part? I don't know what that is. <laughs> PCO. Polycystic ovarian syndrome. Jeez. I have that too. It's like, but it's not, well, I don't want to say it's not serious, but it's like, it's another thing. Like, it's hard to have kids. It makes you like a little bit infertile. But when we actually, which I don't know if you actually want to have kids right now, but like when you actually, actually do, I need to go get this test. I got it done before and it didn't work, but it's called the HSG test. And that's the one where they shoot the fluid up and they like clean your tubes. And they say like 90% of women get pregnant after they have that test, but <laughs> of course it didn't work for me. But I can always go do it again when you're like ready, ready, ready house. Oh, I got the house. You need to be in the house. If I'm one month pregnant, it doesn't matter, I don't think. Who knows? You might be like nauseous and who knows how you're going to react to it. Well, that's even better because then I could be like, oh, I can't move. I'm nauseous. Could I just lay down and you move? Things? We know you're not going to do anything <laughs> anyways. I love that you say that. Do you really think I'm not going to? Because honestly, I would love not to, but I still feel like it's like when I say don't get me a present, but like, I mean, you're still going <laughs> to get me a present. Like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, are you putting it back to look skinny? No, because the food is like... I want to look skinny, too. Right <laughs> um, the corn smells good. I don't want to, um, like, dump it because sometimes it's, like, corn juice and then the corn juice gets everywhere. Um, if you just mix it up, then... Um, but, like, serious, do you really not I think I'm going to help move? Because, honestly, I won't. I know you're not going to, so... But what do you think I'm going to do? Hope. Like, I want to know what your vision is, because I want to execute your vision <laughs> of oh me just... God. Like, am I actually, like, just going to be sitting around, like, going to my mom's house, like, goodbye? Or do I, you want me there for moral support? I envision you on your laptop on the sofa while oh, everyone yeah. is moving around. That is how it actually works now. <clears throat> That's her vision. Oh. So you want me to be there with you still. You don't want me to just, like, hide completely. It's nice if you're around. Okay. <laughs> I will, then. I mean, because honestly, like, that's what I've always done because I like to pretend I'm doing something. I'll be around. It's just kind of awkward, though, like, when people are moving around you and you're doing nothing. <laughs> but not if you pay them to do that. Right. Yeah, I guess that's what happened. My last move took three days. I had my sister, my friend Jeff, and six movers, and it took three days. Full days. Like, those movers worked from, like, a morning to night. Yeah, it'll be around the same. But I feel like it's going to be more... It's a couple of days of packing, then going there, and then unpacking the whole day. 
I never even fully unpacked at my house. Oh, so those boxes are from the room? <laughs> yeah. What do you think they were from? I thought you were just putting things in boxes at some point. <laughs> no. Or... Those are from moving. We just never finished that room. Like, that room was supposed to be, like, an office, and I just never did it. It's different, though. Like, we own this house, like, obviously. We're going to unpack everything. Like, I envision us, like, why be this house forever? I guess we could upgrade, but it's such a perfect house and, like, size and... Yeah. I feel like when you have a family, too, like, for me... Did you guys move around a lot? No. Oh, you had, like, one house? See, we never had that. We I, we always moved, like, every year, and I'd, like... I just wanted one house, you know? You have a childhood house, then. We moved once when I was, like, five, six years old. Oh. And then we stayed in one house for a long time. Did you like it? Mm-hmm. Like, you never want to move around. Israel is so small. Mm-hmm. Like, moving is not... It doesn't change your social life, you know what I mean? Like, your friends are still accessible. Like, everything is still nearby. It's, is it, like, can you move to, like, you know how you can move to California to New York? Is there something like that equivalent? Hardly ever. You know, because everywhere is still be an hour or two hours away and drive. Oh! So it's like moving to, like, San Diego... From yeah, LA. At the, most, at the most. Really? Wow. I want to go to Israel it's so tiny. bad. It's so small. Did you see I got in trouble? I, I deleted it. My TikTok yesterday. Did you see it? I deleted it before you could see it. Really? Which I did one of a, I did a joke about Palestine, but people were not into it. I'm like, you do not want to mess with this group of people. I was like, oh my god, delete. I thought it was pretty funny. Did I you see so it? I was so busy. I didn't see all the TikTok sessions. I deleted it because I was like, oh, most of them are not like this, but... Oh my god, what was it? <laughs> I'm gonna show you. I have it on private. <laughs> oh, I'm done with that. Is it because because people always comment on... I got so much to eat. And like, I don't want to ever make you, like now, I don't want to make you like uncomfortable. I feel like I'm like, have such a loud mouth. It gets me in trouble all the time. <laughs> My loud mouth gets you in trouble, which is the problem. Okay. But this one I thought was pretty funny. It was like a trend. Well, um... Oh, wait, let me get the audio off. Because you got to hear the audio with it. Okay. <laughs> what is it? Bad. Is it not bad? No. Can I put it back up? I thought it was funny. It got a lot of views, or should I not? People are like, you do not want to mess with Palestine. Like, it's not like terrorists, right? But it wasn't that bad. There's just, you know, so many people don't know. I think they were like, oh my god, and you're trying to say like we don't exist or something. And I was like, that's not really it. One, I really truly did not know where Palestine was. Okay, I'm going to just put it back up. I mean, it, it won't go, it'll just go back where it was. Okay, I just don't want you to be mad. See, I was like thinking of you. <gasps> and we're at 272. It's passing all the other ones. Okay, see, it was like in the shuffle yesterday. So it was like right there. I'm putting it back up, whatever. Okay, I was just nervous. Yeah, because anything I do online, people comment, free Palestine. And I'm like, I don't live there. <laughs> I, like, if I could, I would. <laughs> like, Wait, I you know, would? Like, I don't know what they want me to do. You would live in Palestine if you could. I would free them if I could. I'm oh, like, oh free. I think I'd live there. Be free. And That's why I said, I'm like, I don't really understand. Okay, I didn't think it was that bad either. But then I get all the comments and how can Moses be with you? And I'm like, oh, my God, maybe I should delete it. <laughs> I love how you're always on my side, though. I appreciate that the most about you. Like, through scandal, I can always count on Moses just not caring and being by my side. Right? Yes. <laughs> I mean, so, so far. Huh? <laughs> I had so many. No! <laughs> I had so many? <laughs> Damn. Burn. <laughs> you're like shade all day. No, I mean, they're not... I mean, they're ridiculous what people are getting offended for but i feel like every time i've been in drama like it's literally when me and moses stop talking like if, if i get not, not like not stop talking but if i get like in a fight if i'm like i don't want to talk to you anymore and then it's like the next day it's like it's more if you're alone for a day <laughs> yeah trouble you can't that's leave so, her can't leave her on that's so true because i think about the charlie one and the day before i was like i don't want to talk to you anymore and this was before like obviously whatever but and then all that stuff happened and then Moses, I didn't want, he was still, like, reaching out, being like, I'm here for you. Well, now, 
people know to blame me for the drama. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm too distracted when I'm with you to be involved in drama. Well, when you're not around, I got all the time on my hands. <laughs> it's true, because we're so, at night, we just hang out. But when I'm not with you, I'm trying to stir up shit. <laughs> <laughs> starting fights. I love starting fights, I'm so pale. Um, this is so good. I'm so glad we did this one. I didn't have corn in so long. <laughs> it's good for you, right? <laughs> Actually, they say there's no nutritional value to corn, but it goes right through you. It doesn't even like digest in your body. It can be. There must be something. I mean, I mean if you think about it, not sound gross, but like you do, it probably doesn't break down. Do you know what I mean? But maybe that's just the skin of the corn, but... <laughs> Ew! Um, <laughs> sounds even worse. <laughs> uh -uh. So we have a light show tonight. Just grabbed my vlog and I'll pie up on it. We got big plans for the house. Hmm? Mm. I'm like so excited. Like I think that's why I haven't been able to sleep. I'm like really excited. Like when I can't when I can't sleep, it's always because I'm like super excited about something. Like well, anxious. Yeah. Music videos coming up. You have there's mm -hmm. a lot of stuff happening. Hanukkah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the last thing I don't even. Think that mukbang is gonna be awful, which is perfect because I can't eat really. It's my music video the next day, so. What do you order? I had like I told you I had like a belt of fish. I had like. I mean, I've done so many of them. But that's just like okay. Jewish. It's not Hanukkah food. You feel the fish. Oh wait, there's there's like Hanukkah food. It's mainly the donuts. Oh, I never had, had donuts. Those latkes, they're like. Oh, I've had those. Like potato, hash browns, but there's on the sweet side. Here it is. I've done like three of them, but. Curious. What is this? Oh my gosh. Look at your dress. Yeah. I have a little outfit for this year too. Not but I think so they, I think it's always, you know what I like is the egg bread. That's what I can eat. Egg bread? That, that bread right there? Mmm. That is like chicken liver. Chicken liver! You love that. That was yes. so gross. I don't know what liver tastes like. At least you tried it. It was like mushy though. <laughs> well, this is my dinner. I'm gonna be very skinny. No wonder Jewish girls liver. are extremely attractive. Galvedo, watch out. They had LaCroix? When was that? I'm coming for that. No, I had LaCroix at my house. I was drinking it. No, but I'm saying, when was that? Like... This was like three years ago. Wow. Time passes. Like, I remember LaCroix coming out. Like, it was a Recent? Really? This is so weird. So, I ordered three Postmates, right? Okay, well, I have you this year to help me order, so... I mean, I've done it with um, Jewish people before, but... They always ordered that same stuff. I think they just got Jewish food, but not specifically for the Oh, family. really? Okay. You didn't even have Passover with me this year, it's so sad. I gave you instructions. They don't want to be a part of it with me. I remember what was happening, but I was helping you with this, this story. You must not like me. This is my way of trying to get you to come over. And you're like, no, thank you. I'll just help you. Why didn't you? What were you seeing during quarantine? No one, but I'm trying to remember what it was. Because I remember we talked, I sent you songs and stuff and things. <laughs> I don't remember you asked me to be in the video. Okay, but you always came over, but you didn't come over that night. And I was like, oh, that's sad. I thought I would like entice you because I was doing Instagram stories. Like, ooh, I have matzo ball soup. And... <laughs> So sad. Well, we got another holiday coming. What? You can make me matzo ball soups for Hanukkah. Really? Is that Hanukkah though, or is that just Jewish food? It's normally just um, Passover. Oh, really? Because we don't have bread, so they make those matzo ball soups. I made the matzo ball with my bare hands. Was it good? Yeah, those weren't bad. Those taste like biscuits. What were you looking? I'm looking everywhere. People, stuff. 
<laughs> He's like a security guard. <laughs> That's why I really fell in love with you. Security guard, his little office, or not little, it's a nice office in our house will be like looking out to see if anyone comes into the property. So it's like a little security guard does too. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like you are my security guard. It is a big office, it's really nice. I'm so excited. Like I can't wait. And I've seen hundreds of homes. This one is really special. We knew it. We saw this one like a while ago and we were like, this is it. And it waited for us. Seriously, because we saw it so long ago. It's like a really good price. It's like such a beautiful house. Like we got very lucky. Well, it's like they say, if it's meant to be, it'll be with anything. I feel. Yep. Relationships. Houses. Houses. Cars. <laughs> mm -hmm. I always I've feel. I've never huh? seen somebody so obsessed with cars. Really? You're more than me. Oh, I get like new cars every six months. Like that's always been my thing here. Like I've always gotten like I got like a red Mercedes convertible, and like six months later I got an upgraded white one. And then I got the. G wagon, then I got a Lamborghini, then I got an AMG, then I got the Macan, then I got my Rolls, and I got the Bentley. I love cars. I don't know why. Like I'm not like a gearhead where I'm like, ooh, it goes so fast. Like I just, I think they're pretty. I think they're fun. I don't know. You feel cool driving. Like when I have a cool car, I just feel like happy. Like that Porsche Macan, I was so depressed. It was so weird. I've never hated really a car because <laughs> I've loved all my cars like so much. And like for some reason, that one I was just like, this is awful. And that's how I'm feeling kind of about my Bentley, like not to be like whatever, but that's kind of why I want a Ferrari because I was like, I feel like I've always wanted a red Ferrari with the classic tan interior. So my Bentley, I just don't like, like I still drive this car. Like the Bentley was supposed to be my everyday car and now I'm driving this car. So now I'm like, this should be my everyday car and then the Ferrari will be the fun car. Yeah. And then Jeep Chuck or Bronco. Which one do you like better? Because you said, he most like you can't have two utility cars. It's like, why not? They're just two of the same. Both of them are a Jeep. You know, what like. if we? What if you need the Jeep truck one day, and I'm like, I need a Jeep truck too, so I should get the Bronco. Like we both need utility cars. What if we both have to lug something around that day? <laughs> then I don't what see happens? That happening. Yeah, I'm like, oh, actually, I need to pick up a tree. This car has more space than the Bronco. But what if I want to be incognito? Because that's the only incognito car we have then. Use the golf cart. I still feel like we need two incognito cars. I don't know. Um, let's see. I think we're not going to Jeep. Anyways, we'll see what kind of space we have in the garage because we also need to make a gym down there. We really need to make a gym. I'll feel so much better. I feel just... We need space. I don't mind not working out or eating if I can work out. It's just like not working out and eating shitty. So we definitely we have so much to do in this new house. I'm overwhelmed for you. <laughs> but it's fun. I'm glad you think that because I definitely don't. It's fun. Especially when it's your house. I think that's the best. The fact that we don't have to like get out at any certain point. Like even this house was stressing me out. I had it till May, but technically April because they were going to show it in April. And I was like, it came up so quickly. Well, it did this year. It's hard to believe we're in December. Crazy. We're going to be in a new year together. Are you excited? I mean, the year started, and then it just ended. Mm-hmm. We just started the year into February, and then quarantine, and the world shut down. Yeah, but it's cool. Like, when we look back at it, I think it'd be cool. We have such a good for like, us, story. For us. I mean, I always said we were so lucky. Like, you'd get to my house in, like, 20 minutes. <laughs> that was crazy. That was if it wasn't for quarantine, like, there's no way we could have spent so much time together. You would be busy filming, touring, whatever. I would be busy flying with my work, working every day. And then traffic, it's like over over an hour to get to each other. Yeah. That would have been. And especially you. Like I always say this at the beginning, you were just not that excited. I feel like I wouldn't have seen you as much if you weren't bored. No, it wasn't, I, it wasn't that I was bored. That wasn't it. What was it? What do you mean? I enjoyed our time together. But you just were like not excited about it at the beginning. You were so adamant about not dating. 
Let's talk about that now that we're buying a house together. I wasn't adamant about. You were I, pretty adamant. I'm like, I was we're not dating. Taking my time. No, you were very adamant. Like, we're not dating. Because that was a step forward. I was like, wait, I'm taking my. I think we always talked about that. Like, our definitions are different. Like the way, because for me, it always meant dating meant you're exclusive. Oh yeah, and I was like, no, it just means you can date other people. Like, you can date, you can be dating. Right. So, I don't, so for me, it's confusing. Were you dating so, other people? No, but for me, it's confusing. Like, either you were in a space. Because I always thought when people are dating, that means that, um, like, going on dates with different people. And then at some point, you become exclusive with somebody, right? So, anyway, it was so confusing. You did not want Can you give me a cookie? Because I have another little story to put to this. I just want Oh, where cookie. are they? They're not in there? <gasps> they didn't give us cookies? Wait. Yeah, I really want something sweet. It's fine. I'll just continue sharing the story without a cookie. How? Oh. Thank you. That's so sad. Sweet? I knew they were mess up something. It's fine. I don't need one. After she asks so many times. Maybe I'll have some people to have an M's. I've been wanting those. I see them at the house. Um, oh, there's that on paper. No. You were like... What? You were... There was one point. I just remember so specifically where like, I don't want to date you. And I was like, why? But why? And you're like... That's why people date, so they realize that they don't want to date. And you told me you don't want to date me because I wasn't, I didn't have control over myself or something. Well, the beginning, <laughs> the beginning was so crazy that for me it felt like there was no way for us to move forward. Like it was just so crazy. What was so crazy? Your behavior. <laughs> You're like you can't control yourself, and now I see it, and I was like, could I control myself? How? Showing up to my place, like. Like I had work, I have work, different projects, different things, and my whole life is that stability of having that work. And then suddenly there's this like element in my life that is uncontrollable, and I couldn't have that. So I'm still uncontrollable. <laughs> no, we're very different. You're a different person now. No, you think yes. you think I'm under control? No, you're a different person now. I feel, like I, I feel like I still mess up your life being uncontrollable with what I say. I feel like I'm always getting you in trouble. But that's a bit different than back then. So I think <laughs> so. No. So I think like for you, before there's any commitment, there's a certain way you are. But then once there is commitment and we are stable, you're a different person altogether. That's true. So I didn't know that at the time. Like I didn't I had no idea. So trying to get to that place, it was so messy. <laughs> But then when we got to that place, suddenly it was like when we started from the moment we said, like I said, okay. I'm of course from, you said wait, it, you had the control. Don't take it that as an ego mm -hmm. thing. Like the moment that I was on board 100% and ready to fully commit, our relationship changed. Both, for both of us. But it's not my fault that it takes me longer. For the record, just because you were ready doesn't mean I was. I was actually like, you know what, maybe not. <laughs> but then the podcast happened I'm like alright let's try and date for a little longer but it's not an ego thing it's not like oh like it's just different you know like I didn't have a chance to see what you had a chance to see you know what I mean mm. like we had to get to a certain moment for me to see you in your comfort zone in a way that it, you know just to see you and not Oh my All god. All the chaos that <laughs> comes at the beginning. And when I met you... <laughs> what? You, you were just ending something and you were just like... There was a lot of things that were still drifting into our space from things that happened before. Mm. You know what I mean? It wasn't like you were like, I'm single, I'm ready, I'm... I was well, single. But, I wasn't dating anyone like I'm dating you. I'm saying there was a lot to clear out. Oh my god. No, I just thought something else. <laughs> like that's happening. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the music video, I just oh. realized like what was happening on that. Like you and... Anyways. That ship has sailed. <laughs> I'm really sad about those cookies. Well, we can go back and get the cookies. It's right there. I mean, but they're not that good. So I was thinking like, oh, oh my god, dessert. I guess it's not like that best, the best place to get it. I don't really know where else. I really want something sweet, but I guess it's not going to happen today. We have your Reese's in the fridge. So random. Cups. 
You hate peanut butter, and I got the peanut butter M&Ms. This is another point of contention in our relationship is the peanut butter issue. <laughs> he hates the smell of peanut butters, and I love peanut butter, and I can't, I can't just not eat peanut butter. Like, I love peanut butter, especially peanut butter and chocolate, so I, just, I have to take my Reese's and have to turn over and eat them. I can't think you should be happy I don't eat your... That's candies. true. We like different snacks. And he likes baked chips. It hasn't bothered me. I mean, it's not like... <laughs> Like I say, bother. You can eat. What you need. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I used to get all my cars right there, actually. Speaking of all my cars, the keys on the Mercedes on Van Nuys. I used to get all my cars there. And, like, if you have bad credit, go to one of the keys places. Because I got my Corvette, Key Chevrolet, and then I got Mercedes. And for some reason, those places will, like, give anybody a car. I always had, like, literally, like, a 450 credit score. And they, like, gave me Mercedes convertibles. I guess I had, like, good income, but... They, they'll give it to you. I mean, I'm sure the interest... Actually, the interest rates were high. I got a... That's such a long video, but I think the Corvette is down that way. I got a Corvette at Key Chevrolet, and my credit was horrible. And I had another car at the time. And I got a Corvette. And, again, my credit was literally, like, 450 And I think, like, the car total was, like, $130,000. And I think I put, like, something like $5,000 down. Like, just, like... And I bought it. It wasn't even at least I bought it. And, um... And then I had it for maybe like six months and then that one weird guy I dated briefly like took it It was a weird thing and I got it back. So then when I got it back I wanted to sell it and I wanted to get my Lamborghini So when I went to go trade it in for the Lamborghini, he's like, oh you owe a hundred and fifty five thousand dollars on this car And I was like, it's a hundred and thirty thousand dollar car. So like it must have just been like, I don't know I don't know why that was because of the interest or I don't know yeah, somehow. I mean, basically, it's, like, it's kind of a predatory loan. Where... Yeah, he's like, basically, we have to pay $150,000 to pay this off. And I was like, but and I think I made maybe like six months of car payments. I think I might have put like total 15000 to the car. I was like, what? And luckily I found this really good guy. Well, he wasn't, well, he was whatever. A good sales guy that like paid it off for me. And then the Lamborghini, I just owed like more money for it. But anyways, it's a mess. I'm better with cars now. I'm more responsible. I have better credit. Um... I'll pay off my Bentley and then I'll be up. I remember when I moved here, so just a few months later I went and got a car. And I've never had a new car before. And I was shocked that I just walked into a Toyota, signed whatever papers, gave them really just maybe a thousand dollars or whatever, and drove off with a new car. And I was like, you don't know me, you don't know, like it was crazy. Oh, wait, because you had like really good credit or something? Or just cars in general like that. I don't know how they gave it to me. Like I, <laughs> I didn't have history yet. I was here just for a few months. But... Oh, you're a foreigner too. Mm -hmm. And you didn't have a citizen or like you don't have a U.S. anything? No. I was just a student here. Well, it's Toyota. But same thing. I'm driving the new car out of the lot. And I'm just like, how is this happening? Like Some places are like that. I think it's pretty easy in general to get a car. But after, when I try to start getting cars outside of Mercedes, outside of Keys, like Literally this year. That's why I went to like God Cheap Porsche because I couldn't get approved anywhere. Oh my God, it has a greatly increased. Because earlier this year, I couldn't get approved for even a cheap Rolls Royce. I couldn't even get approved for a Range Rover in February. I tried to get a Range Rover and they wouldn't approve me. So a lot can happen in a year. My <laughs> That's for increased. sure. Right? <laughs> I think about all that. I was like, this is so crazy. Um, well, I like how you're sitting with your hands folded and my hands also folded. Are you tired? A little bit. Saturday. Aww, I know. It's been such a busy week. <laughs> Looks like you're being interviewed. Yes. Next question. Next question. Well, cars are pretty easy to buy. I'm very excited to get our new cars in our new space. And a baby. Comes with a house. I can't wait. I'm so excited. Alright, well that's it. Follow me on TikTok at TrishFish88. Follow Moses nowhere because he doesn't even make content his social media is being deleted as we speak my videos are horrible don't go there <laughs> i wonder if like when i say that did they leave that part in the podcast when i said i don't like your videos or the tiktoks no but he came back to it later like it was cut oh yeah right? someone hates the editing in front of me so like whoever edits this stop because they like <laughs> cut the conversation i don't really watch it back because obviously i was there but like i guess they cut it really bad i don't know so some things work good Well, we can always say the uncut version here, but this has already gone on for an hour, and um, I've got peanut butter Reese's and M&M's at home. I'm going to put the M&M's on the Reese's. You'll see that on the other video. Or should I save it for, like, tonight? 
Like, do you think we stop and watch lights, or do you think we're driving the whole time? It sounds like we're driving through it, and then maybe there'll be like one moment where you stop and you see something. Like, I imagine the drive-in movie has like popcorn, but this might not have like popcorn. <laughs> I don't even know what we're doing. Anyways. I think it's mostly drive-through. Just like drive and say hi. It'd be funny if we stop in front of a screen and we just see a video of stuff. You know? It looks cool, but we'll see. Anyways, stay safe, wear a mask, get checked. I like that we never have to worry about getting STDs anymore. Mm -hmm. That was like the biggest thing when I was like single. I was like, oh, what kind of STD? Same here. Really? You were promiscuous too? No, I was just always worried about that. Why? Because you were with me? No, because I didn't want to ever get STDs. I was always worried about that. Oh, you were? Is that why you didn't hook up a lot casually? Definitely. But I was just, it wasn't my thing. Were you more scared about getting STD or more scared about getting someone pregnant? STD. Wow, really? Because I've never, ever, ever got someone pregnant, so. Plucking strong. But, I don't know, it's more, but for me in general, it was just not, it's just never casual, because I don't want, I don't know, I had more respect to the people. Wow. And just having something casual and, if I didn't, if I didn't want to spend time talking to the person, then I'm definitely not going to have sex with them, you know what I mean? I don't believe that. What? Nothing. I just think back to our first date. It was great. <laughs> like knowing you I now. Remember it. <laughs> I remember a lot of it. But just knowing you now is just so funny. That was such a funny date. Oh, I it wish the place was open. Date. What do you mean? It wasn't a day date. No, I'm saying day to date. Like picked you up, took yeah. you to a restaurant, had dinner. Oh. I was about to drop you back off at your mom's house. It's like high school. I know, I loved it. Well, I didn't want you to know where I lived. <laughs> this guy might be weird. Oh, good times. Then I woke up in your weird ass museum and I was like, where am I? There was church music playing next door. I was like, ugh, gotta <laughs> go. Did you feel blessed? No. No. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna go. Moses, anything else you want to say? I think, bless you. Bless you. Okay, bye.